what they do. That's politics. They do it on the left. They do it on the right. They gaslight you. They manipulate you. They they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Yeah, he's the only one that makes sense to me. He's the only one that he doesn't attack people. He attacks um, actions and ideas. But he's um, he's much more reasonable and intelligent. I mean, the guy was an environmental attorney and cleaned up the East River. I mean, he's he's a legitimate guy, you know. Before anybody started calling him an anti-vaxer, which I thought he was, too. I thought he was this nut, this like conspiracy theorist nut. Until I read his book, I read the real Anthony Fauci, and I'm like, what is? It? <sighs> How much of this is real? Like, if you're a person who's on the fence, you're like, maybe Donald Trump's not a bad guy, and then you Google him, and then you start reading some of these like pieces that they've written about him. It'll change your perspective. You really think she's gonna win? I'm, not, I'm saying it because she could. I'm not saying it because I think could. she's going to, and I'm not saying because I want, want her to. I'm just being honest. Like, it, I could see her winning. Yesterday, Joe Rogan officially endorsed Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for president. Joe Rogan characterized Kennedy as a straight shooter, in contrast to the spin produced by Democrats and Republicans. Of course, Rogan doesn't believe RFK Jr. can win the election. On his show last week, Rogan said he said he could see VP Kamala Harris beating Donald Trump. He stated, They just want no Trump, no matter what, and they're willing to gaslight themselves. Joe Rogan is an immensely popular celebrity that has major influence. While he has every right to support whoever he wants, I feel that it would be in America's best interest for him to allow all presidential candidates on his show if they want to. Numerous times, though, Joe Rogan has remained firm on not wanting to help Trump. Joe Rogan talks about never Trumpers being willing to gaslight themselves. But I would argue that he is doing the same by not at least giving Trump a platform like he previously did with Kennedy.